Okay, it's the beginning of July and I haven't done a garden update for some time. These folks' gloves are quite nice in the garden. And if we move over here, you can see that the raspberries are beginning to mature. It's going to be a fantastic harvest this year on raspberries. Just incredible amounts growing. These are my shallots. They're growing very well. You can see here how they've split. They look good. Some of them have got three, some of them have got five. Happy about that. If we jump over here, these are the onions. Stuttgart onions. They're growing well. Quite big. Breaking up the earth there. Lots of weeds in it, but I'm happy with these. They say up until midsummer, they put on leaves, then after midsummer, the, the bulbs begin to fatten out. So they're still. This one has fallen over the leaves, but uh, usually when the leaves fall over, then it's time to harvest them. These are the tropa the red spring onions. I've been harvesting and eating these. Just next to it are my red onions. They're big as well. I should be doing a Brendan zoom going along here. Flying low through the onions. But they're good. That there Tremendous clump of green stuff is my carrots. I broadcast them, past too many seeds in there. But uh, I've been pulling them and they're okay. And this one here is my parsnips. Those are the ones that sprouted a long time ago. And these are the ones that I put in, what? Transplanted and they're coming up now quite nicely. So, hope yet. Beetroot. This is the cylindra, the long beetroot. The, the leaves on them are quite nicely. I think they're beginning to put on some roots as well. So I've got lots of beetroot coming here. This here is my fennel. Yeah, there are little bulbs down the bottom, but uh, not much, they're not all that fat yet compared to some that I've seen. But it's looking lovely, lovely green leaves on it. This is some beans that I planted. I need to get some poles in there to support them. They're coming up fine. And that's my red romaine lettuce. Well, it's a mixture, in actual fact. Over here is the baby leeks in 10 weeks. So oh, they're beginning to look like leeks now, but I don't think they're going to be really thick. But I think I'll harvest them and put them in the in a deep freeze. And this is my dill, which I love for cooking with salmon. It's just be beginning to go to seed. That enormous thing there is Swiss chard. That's, uh, it was a multicolored one. This is a red one. There, and I've been eating them. This is my garlic 
I've been harvesting some of it. Some of it's been quite big and others are small. There you go. First time I've grown garlic here. Quite nice little bulbs. So I think I'll harvest the rest of these. Perhaps today, tomorrow. In the greenhouse, these are some of the garlic that I picked earlier on. This week, that last one there is the one that I just picked just now there. So I'm just drying them off here and then I'll braid these. I have to learn how to braid. And down the bottom here are my chili plants that I got from Bobby over in America. I don't know what what they are or what their names are, but they're growing very well. Down in here that you can see there's some little flowers coming on them already. And lots of flowers just coming out ready to pop out there. And over here I'm not going to give up on these ground cherries or ananas kiosica. So I planted a small one in a bag. And you can see down here already. I've got one fruit forming inside that husk. So I've got two of them and I'm growing them in here in the little pot house. So that's the other one over there in that bag. That's a tall chili. It's more chilies in pots. So they look healthy and uh, there's another one there. It's got some flowers coming on it. So I'll be happy if I get some chilies from these. These are the snow peas. Tremendously tall. I never thought they would grow. They've got lovely little flowers on them. Some of them are purple and some of them are sort of pink. So they're different types of, of flowers. So I'm still waiting for the pods to... Snow peas, I think they might be mange too or... Or what would you call them? I don't know. I, they don't... You should eat them when they... When they don't have any sort of peas inside them. Just the... The pea pod. And over here I've got the, the regular peas. And there's one just beginning. There's another one down there. They're all just hidden in here, way down the bottom. There's, there's more. But you can see the tendril on this one. Uh, these were the first ones that I put in, and I was the germination wasn't all that good. And then I just I went into the kitchen and just got some peas that uh, you put in the when you're cooking pea soup and I planted them and look at this look at the tendrils on them it's a completely different sort of species and they're just supporting one another just holding on to one another so you don't need sticks on here I think this is great so next year I think I'm going to use these uh, roca herne or, or food peas rather than buying the expensive ones from the shop just stay uh, get them from the bag because it's it's tremendous look how well they're supporting each other and how high they are and that they, they don't need any support at all it's great stuff just because of the, i suppose it's been bred to make all these tendrils this is not some trick photography this is an actual fact <laughs> what this african Keyhole Gardens looking like. This is the black forest zucchini. You can see that already I'm beginning to get some zucchinis growing. These are all the male flowers. I think I pollinated that one, that male flower. But the leaves on it, these are enormous. Yeah. Look how big they are. I mean, it's Three times my hand. Incredible. And over here, I think there's a better looking. There's another one there. You can see 
but of zucchini and there's a second one coming in there. This is the best cultivar that uh, I've ever had. It's uh, black forest upright zucchini, although it's growing in the wrong upright direction. It's the compost in there. I've had to cut some of the zucchini leaves off because it was shading my tomatoes and the chilies around this other side so I'm going to grow. This is my Russian silver fir and it's about half a meter now I'm beginning to get some little trusses of flowers on there same with that one over there. That's a chili there which looks like it's been eaten down there at the bottom, some basil. And that thyme is growing well. And I've been taking leaves off this Corsican kale. It's looking good, it's nice in a stir fry. So that's it, that's the update from the African keyhole garden. It's been very satisfying to see how things have grown in this. Really wonderful. And you can see here, that's the zucchini there. And it's just trying to shade out this. Oh, look at that. There's some sort of moth coming on it. I wonder if it's going to lay its eggs on this chili. Let's take it away. Wait. Because, uh, there may be one, one little strange flower coming on it. But it, it shades out this chili and that's why I've been cutting off some of the leaves. But for exotic vegetables and fruit, it seems to be a success in, in finished conditions. Very nice.